So you guys have run some very, very good starting pitching from the Mariners the past couple of days, but how frustrating how has, has this recent stretch been? Um, I don't know. You know, I, I think it's definitely frustrating to lose games. And, you know, our focus is always just getting better and progressing one day at a time. But, you know, losing any game sucks, regardless if you lose four in a row or one out of a six-game series, you know. Um, I think the offense is just a little frustrated. You know, we've been banging for a while. We've been raking. So, you know, just kind of having a little dry spell is, is annoying. You know, but we're going to get through it. And <clears throat> three more games to all-star break. You know, play these as hard as we can. We put our effort into it. We have a good all-star break and come back hot. You know, come back ready to go. What do you, what do you make so far just of the ups and downs? You've, I mean, you guys have had times where it looks like this offense can beat absolutely anybody. Some dramatic wins starting with Friday night. And there's times where you get in this rut. Is it just part of the, the wear and tear of the, of the season? It's just baseball. You know, everything is just baseball. There's stuff happens where you know you messed up. There's also stuff happens you know you could have done better. But, you know, baseball is such a crazy game. You know, you can go four for four one day, and then go four zero oh for four with four punches the next day. You know, I just saw it happen today. And it's it's baseball. It's part of the game. Thank you. Is it worth something that even? I mean, I know it's not in the standings, but like in a game like this, you put those two guys in scoring position, and Peralta comes as close as he did. Like, is it like the fact that you guys believe until that last down? Definitely, but at the same time, you know, we lost. It doesn't matter if what we did. We lost the game. In my opinion, you know, I'm glad that we put up a fight at the end, but losing the game is the number one priority. Like we we lost, you know, we want to win that game. We don't win it from the start. We want to beat somebody's ass. So you know, just a little sluggish lately, but you know, I, I think our our energy's there. We're gonna be there. We're gonna be there really soon. When you, I mean, you didn't put yourself into too much trouble tonight. The one spot kind of did come back to bite you. But like, how do you assess an outing like that when, for the most part, it was as solid as it was? Yeah, I mean, I want to put up zeros every time. So, not doing that is uh, hurts, and still an L next to my name. So, um, I got to be better next time. Four innings, four innings, and you've thrown so far in your career at this point. Um, how do you assess? How do you feel right now? And how do you assess really how this first half has gone for you? Yeah, pretty good. Um, body feels great. Um, happy with that. I think I've uh, worked well with the trainers and strength coaches to keep my body prepared for however many innings it's going to be. Um, but first half was uh, decent, still a lot to learn, uh, but making strides every time. It being the midway point for you, or at least past the midway point, but what it is, how do you kind of look back and assess on how you've fallen into that, that rhythm of being a starter every fifth day or every sixth day or what that is and how that's gone for you? It feels great. Um, and I've been begging for it for a while now, so having a – at least full year so far of this this point uh, of that feels good. Um, I always was doing it in, in the minor league, so I just feel like I'm kind of going back into that routine. Um, it's a big league hitter, so it's a different game, definitely. But um, I feel very good, and uh, I, I like my routine. What do you feel you've improved on mostly over the last, say, two months? Because the second been more consistent. Mm -hmm. What do you think you've improved on most? Um, I think minimizing the big damage. Um, something that Ruben preaches. I think it's something that Musgrove is phenomenal at. It's like, even when you're not having your good days, you can still go quality. Um, I think that I, as a reliever, would just get pulled if I didn't have it that day. So I never had to like fight through issues. Um, and that's been a, a thing that I am proud of throughout this season so far. Um, obviously, I got to continue to do it. But uh, minimizing the damage and then and then really just Staying in there to give the team a chance to win. Do you think this month, even though you have been going strong, this month will be good for you? In you terms mean? of like All Star break, there's some extra days off. Maybe you don't have to go every four. Yeah, of course. I uh, talk to Ruben about it all the time. Um, I mean, he obviously had to do it with Lugo last year. He's done it with however many pitchers throughout his coaching career, um, and it's really just like a constant communication. And I know they're trying to find spots to give me a six day, like you're saying. Um, and having off days like that is, is an easier way to do it. Michael, you guys clearly want to go in the All-Star break on, on a hot note. What do you make of really just how up and down this, this team has gone really all season long? Yeah, I think we, we definitely hit a, a pretty good stride recently. Um, obviously, it hasn't been good the last four games. Um, I think it's you got a really good team in Atlanta coming in town, and we got an off day to reset tomorrow, and, and then it's it's really ending the, the first half on a high note. You know, you want to – beat a very good team and go into the all-star break with a lot of confidence coming back.